Hello friends, in this video, so today we're going to start solving um, Classical Dynamics DAC Paper 1 of 5th semester 2023. And this is the part 1 of Deerubar University. So before we solve, please subscribe the channel, hit the thumbs up button. Also share with your friends, inspire me to create new contents for you. And if you want to follow me on Insta, this is my Insta ID, Oza, like a jit, L A K H Y A J I T 123. This is my Insta ID. So now let's start. So here is the first question. So is the correct answer. First one, the ratio between the electric field and magnetic field is. So which one is the correct option? Correct option is this third one. Okay. Now you see. The ratio between electric field and magnetic field is nothing but 1 by root over mu naught epsilon naught. This is the ratio. Okay. So now next question is a cylinder constrained to move on a plane such that let me consider that plane be x and y. This is x, this is y. Okay. And this is the coordinate system x, y, z. Okay. So this cylinder is constrained to move on a plane such that axis of symmetry is always parallel to the plane that means suppose this is the cylinder this is on xy plane this is uh, allowed to move on xy plane such that its axis of symmetry this this axis right suppose this is the cylinder its axis of symmetry is this one okay so it is allowed to move this uh, uh on this plane so so it's uh, due to its trans translational motion it gonna have two degrees of freedom freedom uh, as on this plane we have two axis x and y so two degrees of freedom for translational motion now you see and it can rotate this way it can rotate this way right uh, about this z axis right you can rotate this way uh, if it rotate this way now you see this is the cylinder on the plane x and y this is x and y uh, it can rotate like this okay it can rotate like this about this perpendicular axis uh, this axis perpendicular to the plane y z okay then also this uh, this axis of symmetry will remain uh, parallel to this uh, you know yz plane this is the uh, sorry xy plane this is xy plane this is the cylinder this is the cylinder suppose and this is the axis of symmetry okay so if you rotate this about a line perpendicular to this plane then still this line of symmetry will remain parallel to this xy plane right hope you have understood this then so that's why one more degree of freedom comes due to rotation then one more thing it may have re, uh, you know re, it may revolve it may have revolution uh, revolutional motion right about this axis of symmetry right it can it can be rolling on this ground like this uh, this revolution there will be one more degree of freedom so total degree of freedom that's gonna be four right so if you if you not if you if you don't consider this revolution then that should be three but three is not there so it should be four so correct option is four here now you see in variational principle the line integral of some function between two ends positions is uh, that should be extrema okay the, the this is the correct answer on option three that is extrema right and now let's move on to next question question number d for a particle moving under the action of conservative force the lagrangian of the system is independent of position increases in the direction of conservative force decreases in the direction of conservative force now you see these are not proper explanation here uh, we need more information okay more information needed here okay 
now you see a stick of uh, one meter in length stick of one meter in length its length is one meter right and um, it is moving away from an observer this is an observer which is at rest okay and it is this length is stick of length moving away from this observer with the with speed 0 0.8 times of c means light okay and 0 0.80 and 0 0.8 same value right 0 0.8 c now you see uh, what will be the length observed by this uh, you know observer that will be given by l is equal to l naught root over 1 minus v square by c square you have got this length contraction uh, formula from relativity right so l naught is 1 meter here root over 1 minus v v square is 0 0.8 c whole square divided by c square right so then what are you going to have 1 minus 0 0.8 8 square is 0 0.64 and c square and this c square cancels right so 1 minus 0 0.64 is 0 0.36 and that is its square root is 0 0.6 so that should be 0 0.6 meter so this is 0 0.6 meter so correct answer is option one right so hope you have understood this now let's move on to next question so what is the next question here a square is traveling with velocity this is a square it is traveling with velocity of light with velocity of light in its diagonal direction this is the diagonal and it is moving in this direction with velocity c suppose now there is an observer uh, at rest okay observer at rest so when it will observe this is moving very fast it appears like line but line option is not there so it's uh, it's most likely to be a rhombus okay so option four answer four when something travels very fast uh, when this observer will see from this uh, direction it is moving in uh, diagonal uh, along diagonal so then it uh, appears to be due to length con con contraction it uh, it will be you know no longer square in shape uh, which, uh, but it will be square but uh, not it will be not visible like uh, you know uh, uh, square that means this observer will see this one as like a uh, uh, rhombus okay the nuclear plant 10 to the power 17 joule energy is available from mass conservation okay how much uh, much uh, how much mass was lost okay we know mass can be converted in the form of uh, converted to energy so in uh, nuclear power plant so energy obtained due to mass lost okay uh, energy obtained from mass lost if m mass is lost then energy obtained from this is given by e m c square e is equal to m c square so here you know the uh, c is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second right so an energy is given 10 to the power 17 joule so if we use this formula then we're gonna have mc square e is 10 to the power, uh, 10 to the power 17 joule so m c square is so if you find the c square 3 square that uh, and 10 to the power 8 square 10 to the power 8 square so that's gonna be 10 to the power 16 right so 3 square is 9 into 10 to the power 6 uh, 16 is equal to 10 to the power 17 here and 10 to the power 16 cancels uh, 10 to the power 17 which gives 10 right which gives 10 and uh, m gonna be equal to 10 divided by 9 which is nothing but 1.11 so on meter per uh, meter uh, sorry this is mass not meter kg so 1.1 approximately you can consider 1 because we don't have any option like 1.1 so 1 kg is the correct option here option 2 right so a fluid is called turbulent when the viscosity uh, sorry viscosity of the fluid is high uh, reynolds number is greater than 2000 yes this is the correct option reynolds numbers must be greater than 2000 right 
so hope you have understood this now let's move on to the next question question number 2a so i have already made this uh, made videos on this uh, topics question number 2a 2b and 2b or as well and c also okay uh, so links are in the description box okay so i have written question number 2a then i have given the uh, link of the video where you can get the answer of this question similarly to b then to b or then there is link okay then to c okay i have given all the links where you can get this so also uh, you know in my youtube channel uh, i have already made videos on this three question number three a and b as well also okay those videos are also available so just i have provided the link uh, in the description box from question number 2a to question number 3b okay so i have provided the link i have provided the link where you can find all these answers okay uh, i have written question number 2a and i have provided the link of the corresponding video where you have got the answer of question number 2a similarly i have written question number 2b then i have provided the link where you gonna get the answer of 2b and so on right so thank you for watching see you in the next video stay connected